Hi friends, we're going to do a quick experiment in this video to show how clouds are formed. All week we've been talking about the water cycle and one important part of the water cycle is condensation. But condensation, which leads to precipitation, can't happen the way it does without forming clouds. <clears throat> so we're going to do a little experiment that shows how clouds are formed. So I have a few supplies here. Some of them are the same as the supplies from our experiment yesterday, but we have a couple different things too. So I've got a jar with a lid. In the jar, I put a little bit of blue food coloring to really show us what happens. I've got some hot water again. I've got some ice cubes again. And I've got hairspray. Hairspray is gonna be a really important part of this experiment. Now, I know I say this every time, but I'm going to say it again. If you want to try this experiment, please make sure you ask a grown-up for help. This water has to be really, really hot in order to work. And also, sometimes doing science experiments, we use different chemicals and things that can be unsafe um, if you don't use them the right way. So we always want to make sure we ask a grown-up for help. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm going to move the video up a little bit closer. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so as I mentioned in the water cycle, when collected water on the ground or in like a lake or another body of water evaporates, turns into water vapor, it goes up into the sky and it forms clouds. But something special has to happen in order for clouds to be formed. The, the water vapor has to have something to grab onto. So it'll grab on to like dust or dirt or other particles in the air. And that is when clouds form. The water vapor attaches to the particles. It condenses. Remember, condensation is when it turns back into droplets. And then that's how the clouds form. So we are going to make a cloud in a jar. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna move this ice out of the way so you guys can see it. So the first thing we're gonna do, like I said, there's a little blue food coloring in here. So we're gonna add some of our really hot water. You can already see it starting to evaporate. Add a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm really quickly, you can already see the water vapor coming out because of the hot water. I'm gonna close the lid. So that some of this water vapor will get trapped inside of the jar. Okay, so you can already see the water vapor getting trapped in the jar. Now, this is where the hairspray comes in. The hairspray is going to act as our particles that the water vapor is going to get stuck to. Okay, so I'm going to spray just a couple sprays inside of the jar and then close it up real quick. All right, so now our ice. We're gonna put the ice on top of the jar. And the ice, remember, is going to start cooling the water vapor down in order to help condensation happen. So I'm gonna bring our video up just a little closer so you guys can see condensation is happening inside of the jar. You see the little water droplets? And even some of them are dripping. Now, what's really cool is you see how it's kind of fuzzy and white inside of there? That is our cloud that's forming inside of the jar because the water vapor is attaching to the particles of the hairspray to turn into a cloud. Okay, so now we're gonna do a really cool part we're gonna let the cloud out of the jar, okay? So I'm gonna take these ice cubes, whoop, and now we're gonna take the lid off of the jar and let the cloud escape. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa, look at that! Look at the cloud escaping from our jar, how cool. Marco, stop it. Whoa, and it keeps coming. Look at that. 
I thought that was a pretty cool experiment to share with you guys. You know, I'll let the rest of the cloud come out. I really hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope that you've enjoyed talking about the water cycle all week. It's one of my favorite subjects because it really does help the world go around, and it's happening around us all the time. So I hope now, when you notice different steps in the water cycle, you can point to it and say, hey, that's precipitation. Oh, look, that's evaporation. That's condensation. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend and stay tuned for more fun science experiments next week. Bye.